Hello folks, this is Sleepless Night. Oh, just started my video on uh, avoiding interdiction here. I did actually promise you in the last video that I'd show you that you can now avoid interdiction. You can evade it. Uh, you just have to keep yourself aligned as well as you can to this escape vector here as you're being interdicted. Whatever you do, don't slow down. If you slow down, you'll immediately submit to interdiction. So you just have to keep this lined up and the blue little filler thing will go up there. Boom! There you go. So I'll see you in a second. So we're just coming out of Super Crew. Boom! Woohoo! There we go. So they made that uh, transition out of Super Cruise a little bit smoother for the uh, Gamma version. They've said they've done this a few times actually, but I've never noticed any real difference myself, but uh, now there definitely is one. You can drop in more smoothly. So here we are, we're no longer in beta. This is Gamma. I'm doing this in a little bit of an unusual way because I'm recording this actually after the fact uh, and watching the video. So uh, here we are, we're at Jet Ring. Uh, so I have an awful lot to say and not very much time to say it in, so if I miss anything out I do apologise. There you can see our shadow, the shadow of our ship there heading to Jet Ring, and then the symbol of the Federation, indicating that this is a Federation space station. Uh, so what happens in Gamma, if you're a beta backer and if you pre-ordered the mercenary edition of the uh, final release of the game, what you get is uh, you get a second ship as one of the many benefits you get a second ship which uh, is deposited apparently in Gamma they kind of pepper the players looking on the forums it looks like they peppered people in lots of different places around the galaxy and your ship is apparently at the nearest space station with a shipyard to where you're dropped in there's a lake on Type 9 there look coming out to uh, the space station and in my case that is here at Jet Ring so I'm going in there to collect my eagle and then go out. I've got an awful lot to fit in because of course tonight is the Elite Dangerous Premier event over on Twitch TV and that starts at 8 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time which is about two hours from when I'm actually making this recording. Uh, the time at the moment is 10 minutes to 5 where I am so that's Central European time and that's 10 minutes to 4 Greenwich Mean... sorry 10 minutes to 7 here which is 10 minutes to 6 Greenwich Mean Time as it is in a couple of hours from now. So come in for landing and we go inside. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention actually that's caused quite a stir is that uh, Frontier have made the decision to drop uh, the offline single player elite exp they're shooting at someone in here look. They're, they've made the decision to drop the single player offline experience um, which has caused a bit of a stir but you can still play it single player you just need a low bandwidth internet connection to play a single single player. Uh, to explain it in greater detail, you probably want to go over and uh, read Drew Wagar's uh, blog. Uh, I can pronounce his name correctly because he's just tweeted me back and told me how to pronounce it right so that I didn't make a fool of myself. Um, I'll put a link in the description to his uh, to his blog post and he explains it in great detail. He's also by the way the author of uh, Elite Reclamation which is one of the novels associated with the new Elite Universe and old Elite Universe of course. Uh, so here we go this is where I'm going to pick up my eagle so we go to the shipyard here I'm going to stored ships and there it is so we're going to go down log in there and I'm going to retrieve my old ship and store this one the Sidewinder Stand by, stand by, stand by. Yep, we are standing by. Where are you? What are you doing? Come on, sort it out. Oh my god. Yep, here we are. So we've got the eagle. Uh, and then I'm going to head out. Now, one of the reasons that I don't have much time <coughs> today, you'll notice that this is much, much shorter than it normally is, is that uh, I have a couple of other videos to make. I'm going to make a Bye Bye Beta montage, which I'm going to put... Uh, here you go, here's my free eagle. Aha, well not free of course, I had to pre-order the Merc edition of the final release, but... Uh, uh, so what was I saying there? Yes, um, 
One of the reasons I don't have much time, I'm going to make a Bye Bye Beta montage, which I'm hoping will be on there by tomorrow, here on YouTube, just to say bye bye to the beta phase of the game. Uh, and then uh, I've got other videos to make, which have been long overdue. Now, look, here you can see in the galactic map the white pill that confined you to a certain area of the galaxy is now gone. You now have this entire galaxy on the entire Milky Way. 400 billion star systems to explore. So let's see where our own star system is. Sol, see how far away we are from it. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> Apparently we are 83.34 light years from home. But there, now you can see home. There it is. Finally, you can visit it in Elite Dangerous. It'll take me a while to get there, but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start heading there soon. Look, Sean, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, the asteroid belt there between Jupiter and Mars, Titan City Space. Lots of space stations here, as you would expect for the home of humanity. Daedalus Space Station at Mercury. And then, of course, the various stations around Earth. There she is, look. An Earth-like world, apparently. Who could possibly imagine such a thing? And the little blue marble next to it is Mars, of course, because you presume it's been terraformed by now. It says Earth-like world there as well. And uh, it's a space station that goes along with it. So, if you haven't yet bought into Beta... Uh, and you're wanting to play Elite before the final release, you can't, because as of today, beta is closed. Look at all these all these star systems, complete free roam. And in the background there, you can see... Oops, it's disappeared. In the background there, you can see Barnard's Loop, a nebula, which we presume this is. Barnard's Loop uh, takes up most of the Orion constellation. If you look at the Orion constellation through a very, very powerful telescope. You can uh, see most of the Barnard's loop, which is what we assume that nebula is. Uh, I'm going to launch. Uh, there's my Facebook uh, thing there. So facebook.com forward slash sleepless face, or just go to Facebook and search for sleepless night, or you can tweet me at sleepless twit. They're still shooting at someone in here. If you want to read my blog, if you're the reading type, you can go to www.sleeplessblog.wordpress.com. Uh, and you can read my blog posts, which there haven't been very many recently, I have to say. It used to be a weekly thing, but now not so much. Now we're going to follow this Orca out, which is one of the new ships in uh, Elite Dangerous Beta 9, which only actually lasted a couple of days, and Elite Dangerous Gamma. Uh, but it's a passenger liner. There it is, oh, beautifully spinning away towards the planet below and presumably into hyperspace so yes as i said this has been a very short video because i've got uh, my little montage i'm going to start heading towards the soul system but i uh, it's going to take me a while to get there but i'll start off anyway head towards it there with my little uh, eagle uh, but I've got my Elite Bye Bye Beta montage, which I'll put on the channel in the next day or so. Hopefully in the next 24 hours, I sincerely hope so anyway. Uh, and I've also got a Sleepless Night video of the Sleepless Night, the ongoing Sleepless Night saga, which of course is a live action, it's not a gameplay video. And that's long overdue, so very, 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 very far overdue is that video, so I've got to keep making that. So I've got a very, very busy week, but hopefully if you head over to the live stream on Twitch TV at uh, 8 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time, I will see you over there, maybe I'll see you in the chat. Until then, good night.